All right guys, before the video starts, I just wanted to hop on here and announce the giveaway winners from last week or whatever video week it was I released the first Harry Potter video. Um, I gave away a otter, a Hermione Patronus otter. It was a pre-release uh, exclusive. Um, and I know I announced I was going to only give away one, but I actually uh, ended up giving away two. Um, the winners are Katie and Krista. Congratulations guys, I hope you guys enjoy it and make sure to scan your little key on the back uh, with the Wizarding app so you can get more information about it. Now, this week's um, prize or giveaway. Uh, we are going to be releasing a pre-release exclusive Ron Patronus. Um, you're, for you to enter a chance to win, you just have to make sure you're subscribed, like the video, follow me on Instagram, I'll put it right here so you guys can make sure to go and follow me. I will need you to follow me on Instagram so I can contact you via DMs. And the last part, uh, Cindy and I discuss our favorite part about Chamber of Secrets. Um, Tell, tell me in the comments below which one you, who you agree with. Do you agree with me or do you agree with Cindy? And if that's not your favorite part of the movie, what's your favorite part? All right, guys, back to the move, uh, video. I'm done living life with the lights out. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here again with Cindy doing another uh, cook with me Harry Potter cookbook um, and veganizing it. We are doing the uh, Chamber of Secrets, uh, the second book. I think that's yes. pretty common in England too, right? They didn't change the... Yeah, I don't think okay. they changed it. Yeah, so we are veganizing that. We are also making vegan butter beer because I need some sugar. <laughs> <laughs> Not only that, butter beer is good anytime. Yeah, butter beer is a staple in my stomach. <laughs> it's yummy. Yeah. So uh, we are going to be making. I we didn't decide which one we're making first. <laughs> we're doing shepherd's pie, veganizing it. This is a hot mess, <laughs> and I'm getting hot in my one cozy. Thing. Her little cozy. Just saying, last time I came to this house with the one, this onesie on, it, that video didn't end up very well. I'm very sad. <laughs> it was very disappointing. <laughs> we don't talk about it. No. no. <laughs> it's like Voldemort. We don't talk about it. The video that shall not be named. <laughs> so yeah, let's get it started. Um, be Yay. sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you're not already subscribed. And uh, be sure to subscribe to Cindy's channel because we will be reviewing the Chamber of Secrets just like we did with the Sorcerer's Stone on her channel. I will put it up in the um, air air somewhere, the magic, <laughs> where the magic happens. So you guys can go check out her channel and I'll also leave a link down below. All right. All right. We're gonna so. start off with the butter beer cause I need some sugar in my life. All right. We are going to be trying to whip, what is it, silk? Have whipping yeah. cream. Yeah. And see how far we can get it to peak. Yeah, because it doesn't usually whip or peak. Oh, that's it nice. Peaked? Did it? Yeah. I did? Yeah. Oh, you just like to just add sugar? I didn't do anything. It's a liar. Look at that. You're a liar. This peaks. See? You just didn't want to make me a birthday cake. See? It's very peaky. Just I'm coming boop, for you. Boop, boop. Right there. I lied on my last video. See that? Beautiful peaks. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Love it's you. Coming. Yeah. It's coming again. <laughs> <laughs> Although my thing just fell right out of the They socket. must have changed it though. Uh, no, it because when we tried it, he looked it up because it wouldn't peak and it was like really watery. One thing is, is that the colder it is, the quicker 
Mmm. It might have been that. All right, so let's Doesn't get... Doesn't taste like anything. Oh yeah, no. None of... That's why you have to season everything. Well, I didn't put any sugar or anything in it because we're putting the butterscotch. On a level of how how much of a hot mess Barbara is, I would say I'm like a 20 out of 10. What? <laughs> why? Because I'm just a hot mess. Whereas our family likes to put it, you're a menace. A menace? Yeah, whenever we do stuff, it's, when things go wrong, mm -hmm. we're like, oh, you're a menace. Mm -hmm. Like, whenever we throw a dog's toy and it bounces off of something that it shouldn't be bouncing off of, even though we didn't aim for that. Yeah. That's, that's our life. <laughs> like break. Yeah, that's, when something breaks or goes wrong, yeah. I need a two thirds cup of brown sugar. Brown sugar. Brown sugar. Just put it in here? Yeah. Does it need to be packed or no? I don't know, it just says two thirds cup. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it just says two thirds brown sugar. Yeah, that's one. Whoa, that was lightning. Good thing we're making food on this. Electric stove? Yeah. In there, for good measure. Alrighty then. Oh, you got a little baby. <laughs> oh, did the lightning come out, little puppy? Come here. I got you. You'll be protected. We should just film Loki. I think he'd be more entertaining than me. Yeah. Okay, we just let that boil. What can we work on next? We can work on the shepherd pie. What needs chopping up? It says place a baking sheet on the lowest oven rack to catch drips. Preheat the oven to 350. We aren't going to be catching any drips. I don't think. Unless we overdo it. It's all right. We got foil in there. Yeah. In a large skillet or wide saucepan, brown the meat, breaking up the clumps with a wooden spoon until it's completely brown, crumbled, and drain the fat of the meat to transfer it to a plate. Wipe off the skillet with a paper towel, add the oil, and heat the oil and add the onions. So we can skip all of that because it's the soy stuff. So we, oh. yeah. we are going to be using guard Gardenian, I don't know how to say it, the groundless beef. This is the stuff that I use for the uh, lasagna. The lasagna. That was good stuff. Yeah. So we could just chop up some onion, one medium onion, and get some oil. And then after that saute, we need to add the garlic. I should be so mean to me. She made me cry. Do you see those crocodile tears? Okay. Do you ever measure this? I usually do not longer. No, I never measure. I ain't <laughs> no, <laughs> it's one thing that he gets mad at because he'll like, how come you're always cooking stuff and you don't ever measure anything? And then I measure stuff and then it never comes out right. And I'm like, well, because you don't have the love. I'm like, because I, I used to do a lot of baking and a lot of other things. So I'm yeah. pretty good with dealing with Eyeballing stuff? Yeah. Okay, go here. So we're gonna brown this, right? And then just add the garlic, I think. After this is brown. Now we... I don't know what I was gonna say. <laughs> we're we're just turned off. waiting for the onions. I swear to God, I'm scared. Not that way, yeah. Oh, how am I scooping this? Oh, I usually use a fork. So I, I think that's going to be a little bigger, right? I usually just fork and then kind of squish out a you little bit. Do you think that's good? Oh, this is a good one. How many do we need? How many? Yeah, we can do one more. I don't care about that. Me too. Yeah. You love to go here. So this is what it looks like. So that's good when you hear back. Well, he said <laughs> grams to pounds or grams to ounces. Uh, yeah. You but I um, need a bigger pan. So that. So much better. Oh boy. I should have gotten the other pan. I actually pulled out the bigger one. <laughs> oh no, Kevin's gonna yell at us. 
for making a mess. Okay. Okay, there's this pan if you want to use that one. Yeah, that, that should work for everything. because we have a little bit extra meat. Yeah, that's fine. I don't really know what that's about. The flour. So, what was your favorite part in Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets? The end. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, actually with the Chamber of Secrets, I thought that was definitely a little bit more exciting than the first one. Mm -hmm. And then, um, that's with, with, what's his name? Gilderoy, right? Yeah. 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 So, I do like the fact that, you know, with him trying to, to hex, so to speak, the boys. Mm -hmm. and it then, backfired. And it backfired yeah. gloriously. And like, serves you right, you little jerk. Yeah. <laughs> I was, my favorite part was when um, they were dueling, Draco and Harry. Oh, yeah. And he just like, pulls out the parcel tongue, like. Oh yeah. <laughs> He's like, come at me. Yeah. Like, you go, Harry. You go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry to all the viewers. <laughs> Please subscribe. <laughs> Make sure you like. And you'll get more beautiful dancing in the next video. I mean, literally, I would only put like a jab in there. Yeah, this is like, I don't think it even needs, because like, the butter took care of that. I don't think it needs. I don't know what the heck butterscotch milk thing she's making. Just to cream it up. Just dab it. Right there. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> there. I thought it. it was going to do the same thing as earlier. <laughs> Nope, that's better. See? And it still keeps its consistency. Yes. But it'll give it a little bit of a creamier taste. Yeah. Which is, I think, what she was trying to go for, but didn't quite work. Yeah. And then we need to put a little bit of vanilla in there. Vanilla, I'll let you do that. I will, when it's time. Oh, yeah. We have to let it simmer for is like this three minutes. on? Vegetable broth. Why did I talk like that? <laughs> I probably should put a little bit more because we added 90 grams of. There we go. Ooh! Violet! Violet! I turned you off. So, this is what it's looking like. Cindy? See? We you can't see. Look. There we go. Yum! I can't wait, Cindy! So let's like cool it up a little bit and then we'll start making the butterscotch part of it. And then we can try and get it in, in the whipped cream. Quality. So I added shredded carrots because we are not about the life of cutting carrots. Make it easy! You know, everyone thinks, I want to say this, but like, I want to say this. But basically, everyone thinks that being vegan, you have to like, do everything from scratch. Yeah, and it's like a big misconception, which I think also throws a lot of people off. Like being, because it's so much work. Yeah, people don't want to deal with the work. Like you sometimes just you just want to not but, cut a carrot, like or cut a garlic. So that's okay. But think about it. Even with things like with you watch like shows like Gordon Ramsay, he yeah. always talks about doing everything from scratch. Yeah, and so making good, healthy or quality meals, it's always about doing everything from scratch. And sometimes I don't think that it's a problem to cut corners here and there, especially yeah. if you don't have the time, like you go to work every day, 
come home. Yeah. You don't want to have to sit there and do all this cooking and all this chopping and everything just so that you can eat. Yeah, I totally agree. So if you want to cut carrots, you go ahead and cut your carrots. But if you also don't want to and want to buy the store-bought pre-cut, sure, do that whatever. too. Normally, the butter beer recipe that I use is one that I found off of Universal Stips site. Okay. Obviously, we're making some modifications. Yeah. Um, but normally, you melt some butter, you put in your butterscotch topping, and then put a little bit of condensed milk in it okay. in order to set up the flavoring that will go into the soda as well as the whipped cream. Okay. That's generally what I use. So like you melt butter. Mm -hmm. So like, not that it doesn't have butter in it already, but yeah. you melt more. <laughs> more butter, because everything make, with butter makes it butter. What you find is a brand new rhythm in your blood. By the way, Cindy is taking over my channel now. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it did go. Yep. Very nice. Thick drippies. Very nice. All right. Next. So now, we will try and fold some of this into the whipped cream. But I made the whipped cream and it nice and peaked, but then it started melting. So. Let's load it fight again. We're good. Okay, so we're we back to nice peaky. Peaky, we just use silk. Yep. Heavy cream. And since we don't have a lot of this whipped cream, I'm not going to put too much in there. But just put a little bit in and start folding it. Let's see how well it takes it. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. I like it. Tastes like um, butterscotch. My headache is now gone. <laughs> How are you enjoying it? It's good enough for me, considering it's not my norm. Yeah, it's pretty good. Let's see that whipped cream becomes mm -hmm. really frothy. Yeah. And I know one of our favorite parts about the butter beer is, is that frothy. frothy. It's like I'm at Hogsmeade or Diagon Alley. Mm -hmm. Stopped at the Leaky Cauldron and got us some butter beer. Butter beer. Part three. Uh, Prisoner of Askman, we're going to do a honey dip version. What do you guys think? If you guys want to see more, make sure to like. If we get how many likes? 50? Sure. <laughs> 50 likes will do. <laughs> I don't even get 10. <laughs> That's the video. Uh, we'll do a honey dukes one. We'll do one regardless. <laughs> yeah, we will. I spilled some on myself. That's the buttons. They're the same creamy kind of color. <laughs> mm, I like this. Mm. Now they just need to make a vegan butterscotch so we don't have to make the butterscotch. Mm -hmm. So we have gone rogue and are putting our own seasoning because this only calls for salt and pepper. And we don't do that here.
one hour later. Alright, so we're just going to try the shepherd's pie now. It's actually pretty tasty. Mm-hmm. Not bad. Mm -hmm. Again, I think it probably could have been a little bit more flavor in the mashed potato part. Yeah. And personally, I miss the peas. The peas? Yeah. But I can't put peas in mine because he won't eat it. Because of Kevin? Yeah, that one didn't call for it, so. But overall, not bad. Yeah, I can't complain. And it was a fairly easy recipe too. Mm -hmm. Just the onions and all, like cut up fat and then put everything together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's like a good dinner if you have a lot of people come to home, like to your house. Yeah. This is a win for sure. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Thank you for watching another video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. We are going to finish up this shepherd's pie while we finish or while we watch the Chamber, Chamber of Secrets. Secrets. <laughs> Thanks. And be sure to check out Cindy's video on our review of the Chamber of Secrets in the cards up above in the magical area. And yeah, be sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you get notified and hit the like button so you get more videos like this on my channel. Bye guys. Bye.